Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm gonna share with you how I make my homemade granola. These are the ingredients. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first what we're gonna do is I like to use pecans in my granola and when it comes to um, the nuts you can either uh, use any kind of nuts such as almonds or walnuts. I like to use pecans or if you want to you can actually just leave the nuts out. And now I'm freshly chopping my pecans and we're going to be using one cup of chopped nuts. Now I'm freshly chopping them but you can use um, nuts that are already chopped. Now a tip to when using uh, nuts in your granola, whether you are using the freshly chopped ones like I'm doing or you're using the kind that are already chopped, you want to make sure that you're using some pretty nice sized pieces, maybe nothing smaller than say a kernel of corn. The reason being is the tinier the pieces, when we add them to the granola, what will happen is as they're toasting in the oven with the granola, those little teeny tiny pieces will tend to burn. And so you want to avoid using too small of a pieces when you're using nuts in your granola. So next what we're going to do is once we have our um, nuts all chopped, we're going to set those aside and we're going to start mixing our ingredients together to form our granola. So you want to use a large mixing bowl and in our mixing bowl we're going to be adding our old fashioned oats okay so you want to use old fashioned oats the whole grain old fashioned oats do not use instant oats or quick uh, cook oats you really want to use the old fashioned oats when you're making your granola and we're going to be using three cups of old fashioned oats now this recipe that I'm sharing with y'all is one that I've made for about 12, 13 years now. And I started making it when my daughter um, started in Scouts. And so this is something that I made when we would go camping. I make it for the family. Um, my daughter's Scout troop really loved it. And it was just something that we even did a badge. The girls earned a badge by uh, making this granola for camping one time. And so this granola in my family really goes way back and we really enjoy using and I've used it, like I said, about 12 or 13 years now I've been making it. But anyway, we're going to add some sweetener to our granola. And this is a basic granola recipe where you can truly make it your own. You can add or subtract things from it. Now there are some uh, important things that you want to make sure that you keep in the recipe so that way your granola comes out really, really good like you want it to. Um, and I'll be sharing those with you as to what those are. Now we put in three tablespoons of light brown sugar. And I used, um, I just kind of like packed them into my measuring spoon. That's three tablespoons of light brown sugar. And then to that, I added some cinnamon. That cinnamon gives it a nice warm feeling to that granola, that, that taste, a little bit of that spice. And that was half of a teaspoon. Now also with your granola, you want to put in a little bit of salt. And we're using kosher salt, and that was coarse kosher salt, and that was fourth of a teaspoon. Now we're going to add some honey, and that honey... To me, the honey really brings the granola together. And so we're adding in a third of a cup of honey. And I'm using regular clover honey, and that's third of a cup. Now, in the description box below, I will have a list of all the ingredients that you need to recreate and make this granola for yourself and for your family. But what I'm doing today is I'm sharing with you how to take those ingredients and put them all together to make this delicious, yummy, homemade fresh granola. Now next we're going to put in a little bit of vegetable oil. You're going to need a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil. The vegetable oil is important is because this is going to give your granola that crispiness. Next to our granola we're going to be adding a little bit of vanilla extract and we're going to be using one teaspoon of vanilla extract. The vanilla extract is just also a nice combination of flavor to add in there with the cinnamon and with the light brown sugar. Also, the honey, the honey is going to help our granola to kind of gather in clusters and stick together a bit. And so those ingredients together, are all the different things that are going to be really important. Now, when you put your granola, when you put all the ingredients in your bowl with your oatmeal, what you want to do is you want to use like I'm doing a spatula and you're going to be mixing everything around. You want to make sure that you're rotating your bowl. You want to, the goal is you want to cover all of the pieces of the old-fashioned oats with those ingredients with the honey you want to make sure you're coating it with the honey 
and also with the oil. Now things are going to be sticky because of the fact of that honey. Just keep mixing everything around and pressing down because you're going to end up having little clusters of cinnamon, maybe little clusters of the light brown sugar. So make sure that you're breaking those up and you're mixing them all around. Now while I'm doing this, I have my oven is preheating on 300 degrees because our granola is going to cook low and slow. We're going to cook it for 15 minutes and then we're going to be adding our next ingredient which is our pecans. We will not be adding the pecans at this step. The reason being is if we add the pecans right now and then we put it in the oven to cook, what will end up happening is that our pecans or your nuts that you're using will overcook. They'll be over toasted. So I have my sheet pan and this is about an 18 by 13 uh, sheet pan that I'm using. I've covered it with foil and I'm using some spray. I'm just using regular non-stick spray. This is the canola oil non-stick baker spray. And we're going to put all of our granola mixture right onto the sheet pan. Now while I'm doing this, I have my oven is preheating on 300 degrees. Also, the pan that I'm using also has a lip on it about an inch tall, okay? Also, it's going to be important when you're making your granola, when you're baking your granola, that you want to go on and even it out. You want one thin, even layer. You don't want it to gather. You want to have a nice, thin, even layer. So make sure that you're using a large enough pan. That way that your granola can be in a nice, even layer just like that. So now our granola is ready for the oven. So now our granola has baked for 15 minutes at the 300 degrees. Now we can go on and add in our chopped nuts, if whether you're using almonds, pecans, or walnuts. Now, if you're not using any chopped nuts, you still want to go on and take your granola out the oven because what you want to do is you want to now mix it around. And so I just take either you can use a spoon, I'm going to use my wooden spatula, and you just want to gently mix the granola around so that way it's going to be able to toast. Everything is going to be able to toast on all sides. So you just do a good job and just go on and mix and blend all around just like I'm doing there. At this point, in addition to adding any chopped nuts that you're using, you can also add sweetened shredded coconut, a half a cup. You would add it at this time. You would mix it around with the rest of the granola and the nuts if you're using nuts. So your shredded sweetened coconut will be able to toast up with the pecans and the rest of the oats. Now what we do is we went on and made a one solid layer once again, and now we're gonna put it back in our oven at the 300 degrees, and we're gonna set our timer because it's going to cook 10 to 15 minutes until it's nice, toasty, and golden brown. And now our granola is out of the oven. It has cooked for an additional 15 minutes. It is a beautiful, rich, golden brown. Our nuts are nice and toasted. And now you want to let it sit just like this. We don't want to disturb it or mix it around. You want to let it sit for one hour and cool. Now, once your granola has cooled, then you start to go on and you want to use your spatula again. And you see how now it is crisp up. You need it to cool untouched for that one hour. So that way your granola has a chance to cool. As it cool, it becomes crispy. And you see how we have those nice crispy pieces. And you can just go through, you can break them up to small pieces, big pieces. It depends on what your preference is. I like to keep some bigger pieces and some smaller pieces. This is gonna make a great snack. We're gonna serve it up actually on some yogurt with a little bit of fresh fruit. You can also put dried fruit if you like at this time dried cherries, dried cranberries, dried apricots, all those work really well. Or whatever you choose to put in, raisins, whatever is your choice, this is a good time to go on and mix those in. And you can put half cups of whatever you'd like. You can put full cups if you want a little bit more. But here is our granola. I'm gonna serve us up some. I have some nice vanilla yogurt right here. And this actually is my breakfast, y'all. I'm going to put a little blueberries on top. I'm going to put a little bit of fresh strawberries that I'm going to go on and put on top right there. But even if it's not for breakfast, this granola makes a wonderful snack. And I think it's time for us to go on and give our homemade granola a try and see how we did today. I'm going to go on and give y'all the first bite. Are you ready? Here is your first bite. 
right there with the blueberry and some of the wonderful pecan right there. Oh, it's looking so good. Let's see how we did. Oh, mm-hmm. This granola, y'all, will you look at this beautiful homemade granola that we made today in our kitchen? Well, I thank you for spending time with me today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click share. Share this video with a friend or family. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.